Hey, 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 everybody, welcome. I'm making Maria. I am your Chalk Couture Independent Designer. Hello, my Chalk and friends. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I have had a fantastic day. So let's get to chalking, right? If you're gonna have a great day, do a little chalking. That's kind of my attitude. So tonight, we're gonna take a little bit of a break from, it is, yes, it is Wednesday. <laughs> we're gonna take a little bit of a break from our fonts this week, and we're gonna do a little bit of Halloween. Big Halloween. Happy haunting to all and to all a good fright. This is a big transfer, this is an E-size. Love me some E-size transfers. We're gonna stick it on this really cool black and white chalkboard that's magnetic, love those kind. Um, trying to, I got, I got dried up chalk all over my board, I gotta get that off. So give me a second. Hey, do you wanna do that? Don't open your chalk piece over your surface is the moral of that story. It's a big, big transfer, it's super fun, it's super cool. It's got some great detail. Some super ooky spooky um, cobwebs. Love the house in the middle of it. Love the happy hunting. It just, it's a great transfer. Hello, N Nevada Nicole. No, Nevada Nicole, it is not a Chuck Couture surface. It is actually from Target a um, long time ago. So Target has a, like a office section that has bulletin boards and chalkboards in it. Um, and they were clearancing these a while back, it's like a really long time. I've had them for a couple years, um, and I've never used them. So we're gonna try it tonight. We are continuing to make things for the two um, events that we are uh, making stuff for. Um, we have two upcoming events that I am making things for to donate. Uh, one of them is our little buddy Thomas, who has been super sick. And we're trying to help his parents out a little bit with their medical bills. And the other one is um, an event that helps support women from that have made an escape from the sex trafficking world. So I like to make things for events. That, so if you ever have one that you need any, something for, let me know. Because um, it's always nice to have something to make something for. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. Um, because eventually, you know, you run out of space when you've been making signs every day for three years. <laughs> Almost three years. Three years or four years? Three years. Three years. So, we've got this big, huge transfer. Love it. Love it. It was one of the ones I was most excited about. I love... You all know how I feel about Halloween. Yeah, Nicole, they're really... They are really good events. Um, we have been... All the things that we've been making for the last two months, that's what we've been making for. Um, and I finally get to deliver it all next week. <laughs> so all of a sudden I realized I had not made, there's a couple things I have wanted to make that I have not made yet. I better get those done. So we're taking a brief pause from the fonts so that we can get these bad boys. I don't know if we'll get them all done, but we'll get some of them done. So what I have done is I have just carefully removed our transfer from its backer sheet. This is a very large transfer. It's 18 by 24 inches. The back of this transfer is sticky. So you have to be very, very careful with it that it does not fold in on itself, stick to stick. If it folds in on itself, stick to stick. Um, it can be challenging to get it apart without ruining the transfer. I am gonna fuzz the transfer, which is just me taking my fuzzing cloth, touching it to the transfer. Um, And picking up some of the lint from the towel so my transfer's not super sticky. Um, I'm not gonna fuzz it like crazy, but I'm gonna do just a little bit of fuzzing because this is a plain old everyday chalkboard, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, although we've never chalked on it before, I'm hoping it uh, behaves. So I'm gonna take my transfer, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna take a minute to line it up, get it straight, and um, hopefully, that will work. So the other thing fuzzing does is it helps you give a little, gives you a little bit of play when you're trying to uh, line things up because it doesn't stick the second you touch your transfer to the board. So today, I, I had so much fun with you guys today. Thank you to everybody in the crafty community. Um, 
I've been cleaning, as you all know, I'm, I'm cleaning out my craft room. And this is kind of my once a year big clean out. Um, and I have lots of surfaces, you know, that have been hanging around for a few years, like this one, <laughs> that really need a good home. And uh, yes, I could try it. I could sell them or do whatever with them. But I decided that why not, again, try to do a little help. So thank you to everybody in the crafty community. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Making Maria Crafty community is a great little group to be in. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it's just a group of us crafters, and I post lots of things in there. People post pictures of their projects. We have fun in there. So if you're not in there, you can come and add me, and I'll get you in. Or you can uh, put it in your search bar, Making Maria Crafty Community. Or um, come and add me, and I'll send you the link. Um, but in there today, I posted, hey, who wants some treats or some surfaces? Make a donation to Watts of Love on our website. Ch Watts of Love, if you're not familiar with it, is Chuck Couture's um, kind of signature charity that they have partnered with. Um, and it provides lights, solar lights, to the 1.1 billion people in the world. No, okay, no, okay. Let me rephrase that. They don't provide it to them. <laughs> but there are 1.1 billion people in the world that do not have electricity. Um, so what Lots of Love does is they provide solar lighting to people in areas that don't have electricity. They do it a couple different places, um, lots in Africa. Um, the trips and things that the Chuck people have gone on have all been in Africa, but it's not just there. They have also provided in times of need, like earthquakes and things when there's not electricity. Um, it's a solar light, and it, one solar light is $50. So. Today, thank you to the four of you that purchased the, or did the donation. We purchased two lights today for people somewhere in the world that don't have electricity. And what Watts of Love does is they go in and they don't just give them a light. They teach them, especially in Africa, uh, because typically they um, provide any kind of light source with kerosene, which is really unhealthy. Um, and 30% of their monthly income goes towards kerosene. So what they do is they teach them how to take that 30% then and either start a business or take care of their families. It's just a really great organization because it's about education. It's not just about, oh, hey, okay, here's your light. So it's a really great cause. Um, so thank you to those of you. That I still have a couple bundles left that I could create because um, I'm still cleaning out, but I still have stuff left over. I posted some pictures. Um, so if you want to make a Watts of Love donation, you do it right on the www.chuckcouture.com slash makingmaria, Watts of Love donation, $25 donation, and you get a bag from me with at least 15 surfaces, different surfaces in it um, from all over. Not a lot of Chuck Couture surfaces, but a lot of surfaces that you can create all kinds of different things on. Lots, lots of fun things to do with patterns as well. Um, so that's my little thank you to those you guys. I've had so much fun today you know, putting bundles together and posting pictures of them as they put them together. So, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, Melissa's saying, I'm not sure if I asked this already or not, but do you have the ribbon for cause transfers? I believe that's what the, um, I'll have to look, Melissa. That's old. Oh, baby, that's old. That's retired. I'll look. Um, I might have one. I think I have one, Melissa, but I will look. Ooh, Kathy K is anxious to see how this turns out. Kathy? <sighs> Kathy, you and Nicole and I, we're all soul sisters here. <laughs> oh, I love, I, you know how I feel about Halloween and it's big. Look at how, I mean, it's big, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I mean, this is going to be cool and we are doing it in just white. Now you could go crazy on this thing with some great colors. The pumpkin shimmer, the plum shimmer. Oh my goodness, think of the fun we could have with this, right? Color-wise. But because it's for their, the donation thing, I, I hate to do colors because I never know. You know? I don't know. So, we're going to do it in black and white. We will do it again because we're going to do it for my, my own mantle. Um, so, we will do it again probably with a bunch of fun colors. But you can never go wrong with black and white. Black and white are just beautiful. So it's going to take us about two seconds to make this. It's not going to take us very long. We're going to use our big boy four inch handled squeegee and it's going to go whoosh whoosh and be done. 
So I've got my white chalk allergy paste. I stirred it up. I'm going to take big blobs of paste and I'm going to put it right on our surface here. This is way more paste than I need, but I'm an, I'm an overachiever. I like to put more on and take it off than be trying to get it on here while I'm going. The beauty of my four inch handled squeegee, it, it already has the angle and it always put, it puts the right amount of pressure on when you go to chalk. So literally, let's see, if you can get you where you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna go up and down. I'm literally just pulling the chalk paste over the transfer and covering up the silk screen. That's how easy this is to do. Absolutely, positively, anybody can do this. And this is one of those big impact signs. Like you're gonna put this at your front door, um, on a mantle, um, on an easel, someplace cool in your house because it's big, it's got great impact, and you're gonna be able to look at people that come to your house, you're gonna be say, I made that. And you're gonna be able to have that sense of pride and, uh, you know, puff out your chest a little bit and say, woohoo, look at me, I'm a great crafter, right? Even though you know all you literally did was this. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway. Many of you are way more creative and artistic than I am and have way more talent in your little pinkies than I have in my whole body. Um, so that's why for like me, there's always like, look, I made this. Plus, this is a chalkboard. I would be able, if I was keeping this myself, I could wash it off and change it seasonally. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth. I'm smoothing out any lines that I might have. I'm gonna quick wipe off my squeegee because much easier to clean it off when your chalk paste is wet because it's not dried on and hard and we're gonna pull it off and you're gonna be like oh she made that I know you're high Mer hi Verge Verge is saying I'm sorry not here I'm not here like I'd like but you keep oh I keep fading in and out is am I doing that for everybody or am I doing that just for Verge our internet it was really spotty today. Okay, so I'm carefully removing my transfer. Ugh. Show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna pull it. Oh, this is pretty. Now notice how I'm pulling it. I've got a firm, I'm not doing it diagonally. And I could go back and forth like this if it's really stuck. You don't want to stretch your transfer. So you, you put pressure on it, but you don't put a ton. Ugh because it's stuck it's gonna pick up your board and you don't want your sticky part it's a big board you don't want your sticky part to touch itself okay so i'm gonna go like so oh this is so cool all right so i'm gonna take this because i need to take it to my sink because it's super big so i'm just gonna set it next to me sticky side up and this is what you're not going to do okay don't let it touch itself, if you can avoid that at all costs. Okay, that's when you when you pull it apart, you could uh, rip the silk screen. So you gotta be careful when you do this. I'm gonna lay it down sticky side up, which is what got me in trouble, was laying it down sticky side up, because then the sticky stuff folded in on itself. And it's still doing it to me, so hang on. There we go. Whew. No, not full of chalk paste, but that's okay. <gasps> Did you see this side? Okay, hang on, I gotta wash this off. Nicole's not having any issues. Okay, so Verge, I had, because I know I had been having issues like freezing and stuff, so I rebooted everything and did all kinds of stuff on my end, and I thought that that had kind of gone away. Um. But I did notice like after all our storms and stuff and all everybody lost power, I did have to reboot everything. All right, so here we go. Okay, this is cool. When I did my Christmas tree that was that big, I washed it in your hall bathtub. Yep, lots of people do that, Nicole. Um, bathtubs are a really nice way to wash them. Um, so, yeah, that's, that is a very good solution on a big transfer. I take it to, I have a stationary sink on the other side of my room here. Um... And I put a tub, my water bath, I put my water bath in the bottom of the sink and then I lay the transfer over it and that usually works. This is so cool, isn't it? 
I can't wait to do this in colors. We're going to have to do this in colors. This is a great transfer. Because imagine you could make a super cool sign with just the happy haunting and skip this whole half. You could make a really cute sign with the house and happy Halloween. Um, obviously, I mean, it's gorgeous the way it is, so you don't have to do other things to it. I mean, it's just beautiful. But you could totally get creative with it. Um, lots of different color choices you could make this with. Um, so, for example, some of the new shimmers would be stunning. The pumpkin shimmer, the plum shimmer, and the spruce shimmer. Can you see the colors? All three of these shimmers um, with black, or I'm sorry, with white or with storm would be gorgeous. <laughs> Melissa would do it in hot mess. You know what, Melissa? That doesn't surprise me that you would do it in hot mess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is hysterical, Melissa. Of course you would. Thank you, everybody. Verge, did the issue go away or still having it? So I think, I mean, and you could do these colors in non-shimmers as well. I just think there's so many fun. Like, I kind of pictured the house even in yellow. You know, like that haunty glow. I mean, I just, I think you could really, really have lots of creative fun with this bad boy. So this chalkboard is 20 by 30. Um, and again, I bought this one at Target. Just And I'm just, I'm trying to clean out my supplies. So I'm trying to get rid of all that stuff. The Chalk Couture chalkboard is the size of the transfer. There's one the size of the transfer, so it's really cool as well. Um, there's a Grayson that's the size of it. Um, but this is it. Ooh, frost for the web. Yes, Nicole. So frost is the white shimmer. Nicole, that would be so cool. Ooh, we're going to have to do that. You could even do a combination of just white and white. We should have done that. Now that I think about it, you could have done white and then white frost, or sh frost, which is a white shimmer. It's a little gray. It's not a pure white, so you, it's a, you can definitely tell the difference when you use it. Okay, this is a cool transfer. And look at this took us no time to make. It's a huge impact piece from a de de home decor standpoint. I mean, this leaning up on your mantle would be awesome. Um, again, by a front door, I would seal it probably. Well, maybe not, I don't see my porch liners. But you could put it outside on a covered, a very well covered porch. Um, you could put it on, I have an easel right by my front door. I could put it on there. Up against a mantle in a corner on a wall I mean I just think there's lots of fun applications with this beautiful transfer is it white frost um, no this is this is plain white this is uh, bright white what we did it in is bright white weird we're talking about uh, options of what we could do it in and we could totally do parts of it in frost let me show you first frost is kind of a gray it's not a bright bright white like this white is um it's it's a really pretty shimmer paste love frost speaking of which it looks like i'm gonna need a new one um so this is our fun little project for today i hope you guys have a great day again if anybody wants to participate in the get your thank you bag of surfaces in the making maria crafty community um, you can go right in there and check that out. It's a really good deal, I gotta tell you. <laughs> it's a really good deal when Maria decides to clean out her basement. Um, Cause you know you reach that point where you just want things gone. And I was literally gonna just pull out all these boxes and do something with them and then I decided, well, why, why don't we try to raise, raise a little money for Watson Love, so. Thank you, thank you to everybody who has participated already. Your bags are all packed and ready, and Carrie Ann's box is all packed so I can ship it, and it was not crazy expensive to ship. I was a little worried about that, but it wasn't, because some of them are big and chunky uh, surfaces. Um, but this is what I got. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Um, I will not be live tomorrow night. Um, we have a family event tomorrow night, so I won't be here tomorrow night, but I'll be back on Friday. 
So, I guys, hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I'll see you guys Friday night. Thanks, guys.